Uh, two points for you, Donald, which I'd love you to talk about. Number one, isn't it interesting that now we understand that uh, President Obama will give a live uh, press conference later on today? Obviously, he's, give, he's, discuss, he's, he's probably going to discuss the terrorist attack from the brutal communist dictatorship of Cuba. So what, what irony that is. Uh, now, right. now, yesterday... I wonder, how yeah. many, I wonder how many Muslims Cuba's taking every year. I wonder if they're setting up a little area in Cuba for the Muslim population. Right? And, and, of course, one of, one of his big uh, points on the agenda is to close down Guantanamo Bay. Uh, let me ask you about your foreign policy advisors. Uh, yesterday you uh, discussed some names, some specific people that you have been uh, talking with in terms of your own foreign policy agenda. Donald, right. have you spoken with those individuals this morning? What can you tell us about your own foreign policy agenda in the face of this? Right. I have not spoken to them, but I will tell you whatever they tell me, and they're going to be advisors and they're highly respected, as you know. You know some of them. Some of them have been on your show many times, but Waleed is an example. But but I will tell you that no matter what they say, I'm still for very strong borders. We have to We have to close our borders, make them so strong, and let people into our country, but they have to be people that are going to be wonderful for our country. You know, we do lottery systems, and I don't think I think we should do it based on merit, based on their background. Have they been wonderful, you know, people where they were? We're taking in people in country. We know nothing about it. And the most serious version of that is what's coming in from Syria. We're taking people in with zero documentation. And you know, and, and Maria and Jerry, I can tell you that I've spoken to every law enforcement top top people. There is no way you can tell anything about these people about documentation because it's all gone. It's all gone. And yet it's a strange thing because they have no documentation. They have no anything. And yet they're walking in the migration line, young men using cell phones. Okay? Yeah, and, we, and we spoke earlier that we know that ISIS has gotten their hands on that passport-making machines.